Hello there, welcome to this fourth video in the series from the vocations team in Llandaf Diocese about thinking about God's calling on our life. And today is looking at how can we be more confident that God has got a plan that I can see working out before me. Well, I've been doing a bit of gardening. Do you know what these plants are or what they might be? You might not care. If you don't care and you're looking after them, then it's not good news because you're not going to be able to care for them in the best way and get the best crop. Now then, you could say I'm going to do a bit of genetic typing and I'm going to work out in a very convoluted way what the genetic information of these individual plants are and therefore I'm going to be able to set them in their specific uh, genus and actually to know what they are. It's a very odd way to do it. You could just ask me what are they? Because I'm the person who planted them. And I know that they're moneymaker tomatoes. And I'm expecting them to have great fruit as summer comes along. When we think about what God's plan might be for us, really the starting point is in our spiritual life, coming close to God and asking, well, what is my life about? And what life has got ahead for me? Sometimes we can get the wrong impression of vocation and just think that vocation is about perhaps finding whether or not I should become ordained and then that's it. In reality, we're continually, every morning, waking up to fresh plans that God has got in our life, fresh outcomes that are just waiting to burst before us. So how can we be confident that God has got a plan for us? whatever that might be, and however changing and constantly different it is. Sometimes when I chat to people, when we talk about the idea of a plan, God thing, um, people say, gosh, I don't feel I'm qualified, or I don't feel I'm chosen, or I don't feel I'm experienced, I don't feel I'm able to do that, I'm not confident at all, I'm just not trained enough, or well, I'm not educated, I'm not resilient. I'm not strong enough. These are all kind of natural instincts that we might have when we begin to explore what God is calling us to be like and what God is calling us into. And in our little booklet that we've been looking at on hearing the call, today we're thinking about the character of Jeremiah. Jeremiah, the Old Testament prophet, was a person who knew God's plan on his life from a very young age and he was called into something which brought him into confrontation, a sacrificial life, even a loneliness and a, a difficult path. It was a calling that was balanced by the fruit of following God's plan in his life that really shaped the entire nature, nation and also shaped people's idea of what God was like even down to us when we pick up a Bible. So Jeremiah knew that God had a plan for him early, early on. And part of that discovery was when he was young. When we think about the early call of Jeremiah, this is what he says about himself right at the beginning of the book. God said to me, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. It's interesting that we just come through Holy Week and Easter. And on Good Friday, I was using, like many of you, Psalms which related to the calling of Jesus. Psalm 22 is part of our liturgy on Good Friday. And we can see how Jesus, in his plan that was working out, like Jeremiah, knew that there was something even from his birth. In quoting Psalm 22, verse 9, Yet you, God, brought me out of the womb. You made me trust you, even at my mother's breast. From birth I was cast upon you. From my mother's womb you have been my God. The psalmist and also Jeremiah 
I've got this connection that God has a plan over their life. You might like to hear these words from the chapter in our book, here in the call, which describes those ideas of thinking, gosh, what is it that God has got for me? And how maybe it feels really quite far away from the reality of today. So I'm quoting from the book. Very often vocation and discipleship are seen to be about what I can do rather than what I might become. An exercise often recommended when reading the story from Jeremiah is to insert your own name into the passage right at the beginning of chapter 1 and listen to what God says to you, not just to Jeremiah. It's a way of hearing God's personal commission to us. I'm going to hear those words just again from Jeremiah chapter 1. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. might be worthwhile pausing and thinking about the way that God has a, a plan which is unfolding for everyone and for us. We began in a practical way thinking about Esther a few sessions ago and how circumstances just changed and she felt the beginning of something different that she should be called to do. We heard from Samuel, who heard the voice of others encouraging him as other people had words to, to discover what God's plan was. We had in the last session Moses, who had that deep personal encounter with God. And today we're thinking about Jeremiah, who allows God to shape his life so that he can bear fruit in the way that God has planned for him. As you continue to just ponder over what God is doing in your life, then you might want to pause for yourself and think, I want to be able to live the life that God has in plan for me. I want to become the, the type of person with bearing the fruit for the kingdom that God has got planned for me. I want God to take us as we are, for we can come no other way, to set his seal upon our heart and live in us. You may like to visit more of the Vocations team's website and Facebook page to have some more information about understanding God's call and God's plan in our life. Get in touch with us too, because we are always happy to pray for you and pray with you and to answer questions and to help be one of those guides in your journey of life.